Hello, uh, my name is Oliver. I'm the Chief Executive here at NILF and I'm delighted to be having a conversation day, today about being a disability inclusive employer. I'm joined by uh, Jackie, our Executive Director for London, who's soon to be the Acting Chief Executive here in NELFT, and by Mary Antoinette, who's our co-chair of the Disability Staff Network. So really, really looking forward to today's conversation. Perhaps a, a good place to start is just to hear a little bit more about the network. Perhaps, Mary Antoinette, you could tell us a little about it. I think it was started in 2014. 2014. Um, the Disability Staff Network was set up to provide mutual support and a collective voice for disabled staff across mouth. We want to support the organisation in being disability inclusive and disability confident, promote positive attitudes towards disabled people and to raise awareness of disability equality. The network helps raise the profile of disabled staff and offers advice and guidance in a confidential and safe environment that gives staff opportunity to seek the collective support of others in the trust. But the, Dis the Disability Staff Network also aims to influence policy and decision making, so it's active in policy consultation and training, raise awareness of disability to achieve fairness without prejudice for staff, provide support and, reason uh, and advice to managers in the provision of reasonable adjustments in the workplace. We also advise on work policies and practices with regards to the Equality Act 2010 and also promote and share information on the disability staff networks and its other subgroups. So thank you Marie Antoinette, that was really, really informative. But can you tell us what the disability staff network has done for staff so far? The disability staff, uh, staff network is a place for staff with disabilities to find support as well as to suggest and implement ideas they have to make now as disability inclusive as possible. For example, Health Passport's been introduced which allows staff members to store any information they like about their disability, long-term health condition, mental health issues or learning disability stroke difficulty. Staff members can use them to tell a new line manager about their health and anything they need to, to have in place to support them to carry out their roles easily and efficiently without having to start the process from scratch um, whenever they move roles. But the Disability Staff Network does not only help staff members with a disability, mm -hmm. our work ensures that we have a greater awareness of vulnerabilities or needs of staff members, regardless of whether they have a disability. We also promote the importance of a just and compassionate leadership and health and wellbeing for all staff across the Trust. Thank you. So it's clear that the staff network have done some brilliant stuff already, absolutely inspiring. But also excitingly, we've just published a new strategy for 2020 to 2025. Could you say a little bit more about that, about what the objectives are within that? Right. The, the network aims to engage, enlighten, empower, enable and encourage. Our main aims are to provide a better understanding of equality objectives of, and what NELF is seeking to achieve, including become a disability competent leader and improving the trust workforce disability equality standards scores. We want to know what staff and other key stakeholders think about our quality objectives, so we encourage feedback whenever possible to ensure we're always working in the best interests of the people we represent. We want to make sure that staff are being informed of our progress and that we provide them with updates on key developments and initiatives that we're working on. We're also working to promote greater transparency and greater accountability with regards to disability inclusion across NELF. Thank you. Marie Antoinette, the last 18 months has been unprecedented, hasn't it, in, in, in the history of the NHS. What have we been doing to support staff during the pandemic? It's obviously been a really tough time for everybody, and, but there's always support available if you're struggling. I know that some people, particularly those with disability, might have a hard time working from home. Workspaces are often specifically set up and moving to a new work home environment has been really difficult. We've worked to deliver the equipment that everybody needs to help them work best at home. We've also worked on our digital offer for staff, making sure it takes account of differing needs, for example, or support for those with hearing impairment. We encourage staff with difficulties to become confident and provide leadership 
The Trust has integrated a training opportunities for staff to undertake calibre training delivered online. This has enabled staff to identify not only their own disabilities or needs, but barriers in the workplace that may be detrimental for staff who do not have a disability. The Disability Staff Network has upped its virtual support offer throughout the pandemic to make sure we're still there for those who will need us, even if they're working from home. Um, we've also worked to recognise staff with long-term conditions and support they may need in, result, uh, in relation to shielding. We've carried out individual risk assessments and we give, uh, it gives us the opportunity to target support throughout this process. Thank you. So it's, re it's really brilliant to hear what we're doing around the, the, our strategy and thinking about uh, our aspirations for the future. And an important part of that is about enabling new colleagues to join us here in Nelft and ensuring we retain colleagues in Nelft by making sure we're an inclusive employer. Could you say a little bit more about what we're doing, please? Yeah, this is an organisation that actively supports individuals. We're recognised as a disability confident employer and we welcome people with disabilities. We also make sure that staff who develop conditions whilst employed can still always expect a positive and supportive response. In fact, NELF is recognised as a disability confident employer and the network and trusts are finalists for the Recruitment Industries Disability Initiative, the RIDI, award for our work in improving recruitment and retention for disabled staff, which is brilliant. Um, if you're considering working at NELF or are a current staff member with a disability, please know that we're working hard to ensure that support is there for everybody who needs it when they need it. Yes, that's absolutely brilliant. So finally, your last question, um, <laughs> Marie Antoinette. Uh, what are the top tips that you would give to staff with a disability? My top tip would be to always ask for help, especially if you're struggling. There is always support available for you and the Disability Staff Network is there to help you access and make the most of the opportunities that are available. NELF is also a great place to work for anyone with a disability and I really would encourage anybody with a disability who's thinking of working or applying for a job here, the support is second to none and we'd be really lucky to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much Mary Internet. Thank you Jackie. I hope uh, colleagues found it a really interesting conversation. I certainly did. I thought it was brilliant. Um, if you're interested in uh, working in Nelf, please look at our website. Or if you're already one of our amazing colleagues and want to know more about Disability Network or indeed our, all our staff networks, then please do look at the internet. Thank you so much. <laughs>